let us discuss about logical AND gate. In digital electronics, there are several logical gates which work on different logical operations, say logical addition, logical multiplication, etc. AND gate is a logical gate which is widely used having two or more inputs and a single output. This gate works or operates on logical multiplication rules. In this gate, if either of the inputs is low or zero, then the output is also low. But if all the inputs are high or one, the output will also be high or one. First of all, let us gather some idea how output with respect to inputs is observed in case of AND gate. There are two binary digits, one and zero. In multiplying 0 with 0, we will get 0. 1 with 0 or 0 with 1, we will get 0. We only get 1 when 1 is multiplied by 1. In other words, an AND gate is a digital device which produces high output only when all inputs are high and produces low output at all other inputs combinations. An AND gate may have any number of inputs probe but only one output probe. But here we will show only two input AND gate because it is enough to understand the logic of AND gate. A two input AND gate is logically represented as where A and B represent input of the gate and X represents output. A, B and X either be 1 or 0 logically. The logical operation of AND gate hence can be represented as A dot B equals X. All multiplication combination of A and B can be represented in tabular form as follows. Here we can see when A is 0 and B is 0, then X is 0. When A is 0, B is 1, then X is 0. When A is 1 and B is 0, then X is 0. When A is 1 and B is 1, then X is 1. Now let us show a practical circuit of AND gate. Normally, an AND gate is designed by either diodes or transistors. While diodes are used to design AND gate, it is called diode AND gate. The basic circuit of a diode AND gate is shown here. In this circuit, we first apply plus 5 volt here. Now if we apply plus 5 volt at A and B, both of the diodes are reverse biased and hence both diodes behave as off or open circuit. At this situation, as both diodes are off, no current will flow through resistor R and voltage of C that is plus 5 volt will also appear at X. As the supply voltage plus 5 volt appears at X, the output of the circuit is considered as high or logical 1. Now, if either point A or B or both are applied with 0 volt, respective diode will become forward biased and hence behaves as on or short circuited. At this condition, supply voltage plus 5 volt at point C will get passed through either of diodes or both to the ground potential. As the current is flowing from C to ground through resistor R, entire 5 volt will be dropped across the resistor R and hence voltage at X will become low or logically zero. The diodes at forward bias condition do not behave as ideal short circuit. Some voltage drop will be there across the forward bias diodes. This is equal to forward bias voltage of the diodes. 
This voltage drop will appear at X during low output condition. So practically, low output will not be 0 volt, it is rather 0 0.6 to 0 0.7 volt, which is ideally considered as 0.